Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Meghan Markle is in hot water again and this comes as no surprise for anyone who has ever watched this channel. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. So what can I really say? Meghan Markle's former staff who are the Palisades, have said that they would give evidence in court. And I think this is regarding the Finding Freedom book. So this has been written by Chris Shipp, who is a royal commentator and royal editor and royal watcher. And he's a good source to take in. This article is by ITV News, interestingly enough. But there are quite a few different versions of this recent information. They are willing to testify against her. And I think that she's going to find herself in a very compromising position, depending upon how lenient they are with everything that they know. Now, we know that Meghan Markle had an extremely difficult, fractured relationship with the Palisades. There were allegations of her really exploiting their schedule, exploiting their time, exploiting her power dynamic in that business relationship. She was allegedly emailing them at 5am, expecting them to start work outside of the hours that they were paid for, and quite a few of her royal aides did quit quite swiftly in succession under Meghan Markle. And then we have the famous words from Prince Harry who said, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets. And that didn't fly very well with anyone in the royal firm, including the Queen, who essentially told Harry that Meghan Markle will get whatever tiara she sees fit for her to wear. So this article begins with, former members of palace staff who worked for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have stated that they are willing to give evidence at trial in Meghan's legal battle with the Mail on Sunday. A joint letter from the royal aides who worked for Harry and Meghan at various times from the start of their relationship in 2016 through to the Sussex's departure from the royal family in 2020 has been released by the High Court. The Duchess of Sussex is suing the paper for breach of privacy and copyright after it published a quintessentially private letter she wrote to her father about the breakdown of their relationship. Former private secretary Samantha Cohen and three former communications secretaries Jason Knauf, Sarah Latham and Christian Jones say they are willing to assist the court which would, if appropriate, include giving oral evidence at trial and or providing to the parties any relevant documentary evidence. The former Sussex staff have been referred to in court as the Palace Four. The letter has been referred to by the Mail on Sunday's legal team as it attempts to ensure the case does go to trial later this year. Megan is currently applying to the High Court judge to make a summary judgment which would, if granted, result in the judge deciding the case on the facts presented so far, and a full trial would not need to go ahead. Currently, a trial date has been scheduled for October 2021. All four of the former Sussex staffers say they do not wish to take size in the dispute between Meghan and the newspaper. Our clients are strictly neutral, writes their representative. However, the joint letter does state that they are in a position to assist the court by giving evidence at trial relevant to any of the issues in dispute. The letter does not say which of the four individuals has any relevant evidence, but it makes clear that one or more of them would be in a position to shed some light on three specific issues. The first is the creation of Meghan's letter to Thomas Markle and what drafts of it she shared with her press team. The second is the issue of whether Meghan anticipated or wanted her private letter to end up in the public domain as part of a longer term media strategy. And finally, whether or not Meghan helped the authors of the recently published Finding Freedom biography by giving them private information directly or indirectly. Anthony White QC, who is representing the Mail on Sunday's owners, Associated Newspapers, argued that the letter from Harry and Meghan's former aides show why a trial is necessary. Otherwise, a great deal of facts and information would not get to be considered. The Mail on Sunday argues 
that the case is wholly unsuitable for summary judgment and that Megan's argument in respect of certain important factual issues has shifted as the case has progressed. The newspaper's lawyers said Megan had given a confusing and torturous account of the genesis of the letter and her subsequent communications about its existence. Samantha Cohen has now left the royal household. Christian Jones is currently the acting private secretary for Prince William, but is departing soon. Jason Knauf works for William and Kate's Royal Foundation charity and Sarah Latham has a role at Buckingham Palace connected to the Queen's Platinum Jubilee next year. That is the end of the article. I definitely feel as though there's an element of attempting to get revenge on Meghan Markle. As I said earlier in this video, Meghan Markle had an extremely difficult fractured relationship with a lot of members of the royal firm. And it seems as though those feelings of resentment and discontent with the way they was treated during their time of servitude to Meghan and Harry as the Palisades royal aides seems to have left a nasty taste in their mouths and they seem as though they really do want this case to go to trial. I'm excited about this case going to trial. I think it should go to trial. I think that she should have to deal with these fireworks directly. I don't think that she should get a summary judgment. I don't think that she should be able to swan off in America and run around with her American woke tiara on in front of her head using the royal titles the Duchess of Sussex without any upcomings. Meghan Markle has brought this trial to the forefront. She's decided to embark upon legal action against the Mail on Sunday. She wasn't content to accept the fact that she actually did want that letter to go public. She actually did want to degrade and degrade her father in a very public, demeaning, diminishing, cruel, callous way. It's her way or the highway and it simply doesn't work like that. She now wants to smooth it over because she's gotten the contracts that she always craved. She has the Netflix deal, she has the mansion, she has the prince and she has the baby and she's decided, oh actually, I've gotten everything I wanted and therefore I shouldn't have to deal with this case. They should just rule within my favour and I should be able to get on with cashing in on my royal connections because it's been extremely lucrative thus far. But it doesn't work like that and I think that Meghan Markle should really, as I said, see the error of her ways. And the only way for her to see the error of her ways is to simply experience extreme embarrassment, humiliation and degradation that she was more than happy to dish out to everyone else, including the royal family, the firm, her father, her sister. She was more than happy to degrade everyone. So that's really where I'm going to leave this video. Tell me what you think. I think that these Royal Palisades do have some juicy information, especially regarding her long-term media strategy and the contribution to the Finding Freedom biography, which we know that she pretty much wrote herself along with Harry. That was their pet project throughout their whole duration of even serving as senior members of the Royal Firm. When she was pregnant, she was probably writing this book that's the extent of the desperation to cash in on her new found fame and Harry's new found disrespect and contempt for his own family. So anyway guys, I'll be back with another video. Tell me what you think. Bye!